am I a husband and father? I'm also the pool boy at our house. So I was out cleaning the pool one day, as my wife insisted. She tells me all the time, Steve, if you love me, keep my commandments. <laughs> so I'm cleaning the pool, and I see in the rafters there, I see a little nest with little robin eggs in there. And they hatched it, and it was so wonderful. It was like National Geographic. And I'm looking there at the robins, and I had a new camera. And I said, I'm going to videotape it. And my daughters would be like, ooh, daddy, National Hercules, Hercules. So I videotaped it, and it was so wonderful. The little bird. So then what happened was, I come out the next day, and right there in the rafters of the deck, um, I was cleaning the pool, and I looked, Shazam, they were gone. I looked around for signs of foul play, no pun intended. <laughs> took you a minute, took you a minute. I couldn't, the birds were gone. I said, oh no, my, my birds are gone. And I, I couldn't find, the nest was empty. I said, where'd the birds go? And I looked, they couldn't have flown away. They were so tiny and I was standing under that, that nest. And I looked, I said, oh, where'd the birds go? And I was becoming a little more exasperated because I'm tender like that. <sighs> and, I, and I looked down and I, I walked down to the other end of the deck. I said, where'd the birds go? And I looked up. Ah! And right above my head was a big, fat, black snake curled up with a big, fat knot in it like that. I was like, oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he didn't. I oh, know this bird didn't eat my, this, this snake didn't eat my birds. So I did what any former pro football player would do. I screamed and yelled for my wife. Wife, come run. What's up? This snake. Oh, snake. She said, kill it. I said, no, you kill it. She said, you kill it. I said, no, you kill it. You got the Glock. You kill it. <laughs> Woo, I tell you, son. So I got the big long pool pole and my wife knocked it down. I got the shovel. I don't even know why I was screaming. I just started hitting. Oh, oh. My neighbor thought I was beating my wife. Oh, Snake, it's a snake, Mr. Johnson. Ah! It split wide open. I could see the birds inside the snake. And then it kept, it was still moving. Split open and still moving. And every now and then, every now and then, that DC come out of my wife. I said, Karen, what do we do? My wife looked at me. She said, Steve. I said, what? She said, cut the head off. <laughs> but I took my shovel. Let me tell you something. I took my shovel and I went over that snake. Ah! That killed it. The head was hanging on by the skin. I picked it up, threw it in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We had a, I'm just kidding. I threw it in the woods in the back. But then God spoke to me, and I, I'm going to be real transparent here. I hadn't heard God speak like that. And it was epiphany. I turned. Mm. I turned to my pool and I, I lifted that shovel up and the water's in the pool. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all <Yo>, mess. <laughs> Let me quit. I walked across on dry. <laughs> wow. No, 
no, but this is what God, mm, mm, this is what God spoke to me. How many of us got a little black snake in our backyard we don't want to deal with? We know about it because we seen it before and, and we hit it over the head a few times, but we haven't dealt with it. God said, before you deal with that battle, deal with this battle. There has to come a point in your Christian experience when you look at your purpose and you look at God's, God's potential in your life and, and you turn and face your temptations and you have enough courage to say to those things, you are not even worthy of my purpose and my potential. There's some things in life I just won't do.